This is the Reef Beef Podcast. We Fuck say it. words that some people say are bad, but what is bad ethically? If you don't like language that that preachers tell two-year-olds that they don't like, then this is not the show for you. Uh, if you do like that language, uh, join us. Join us. Come to Satan's side, and, and we'll help you understand your reef. This is Reef Beef. My name is Rich. My name is Benjamin. And we are joined by Jim Graham. Uh, very excited to have Telegram here, and we're going to talk about pumps. We're going to talk about lights, and we're going to talk about various other bullshit and try to get to the bottom of some stuff. This podcast is supported by our sponsors, which is Champion Lighting, powered by Polyp Lab, and the all-encompassing saltwateraquarium.com. <laughs> Rich, This is Reef Beef. Jim, some people may not know who you are. Can you tell them who you are for this lovely podcast of beef? Thanks. I'm Jim. Hi. Um, I mean, we can go way back. Like I worked at McDonald's and then I went in the Air Force for 20 years and 16 days. Wow. And then I moved from that to pharmaceuticals. Not that kind, the other kind. Oh. And sorry. And I've been doing that since 2008. I've been reefing for 10 years. Freshwater, of course, before that, whatever. Uh, and that was cool. And, and now I don't know. I'm a bit of a sasshole. Uh, I like, I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like reviewing, um, cheap stuff that might almost 80 to hundred percent match expensive stuff. All right. And you do that through your, your YouTube channel. I do. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Telegram T E L E G R A H A M. Same thing on Instagram. Perfect. It's a way better name than Reef Beef Podcast. No <laughs> way, because you get to throw the beef around. There's no yeah. telegram emoji. Well, <laughs> some would call that the poo emoji, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Or the middle finger emoji. That also applies. You need a Quaker on a telephone is your logo, <laughs> which would totally match what you're doing. Um, yeah, maybe. Dude, that is so cool, though, that, you know, that you do the the sort of like frugal frugal reviews because dude that's that's got to be popular it is both popular and not uh i very much enjoy i mean i i buy expensive stuff right and the only way for me to know if something like shitty for 150 bucks on amazon is gonna match up you know close enough to something expensive is to have both if i was just relying on other people's reviews or data or whatever then i'd be a fraud i suppose at least i would certainly be approached that way uh in this case i just like buying good stuff playing with it and also buying cheap stuff it actually well the story i tell is that when i retired from the air force in 2008 i was making sixty thousand dollars after 20 years i was making 60k supporting a family doing all that stuff that i gotta do right buying nice cars because that's what military people do um with no money yeah so so, yeah. so 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 i think about you know the people that aren't necessarily the top money making kind of folk who some may be, I mean, whatever, not to go there, but I'm going there. Military people who are uh, suffering from something or other from something or other, and they need something to focus on. So they don't walk across the street and bitch slap their neighbor, that kind of thing. You know, nice fishy. Right. What kind of money they have? How can they get in the hobby? So how can we make the hobby accessible? The biggest way I could do that is to buy expensive shit and then find cheap shit that compares. You know, it's it's so interesting because the the line between supporting people who are doing R and D, yeah. and at some point you got to go. How much how much of that is worth it to me over the years? You know, at some point you got to go. Well, <clears throat> okay, now there's other stuff on the market that might be based off of what you did certainly wouldn't yeah. be here without you guys, you know, whether it's a sure. complete rip off or not, but at some point you go, you know, well, look, look, I'm, I, I need a, a pump for a weird place in my display. So I'm going, I'm looking at the Nero and it's like, mm -hmm. well, I don't want to pay 300 bucks to see. So I'll pay 80 bucks and see. 
And then of course right. I pay a hundred bucks in C because I needed the bigger one. And then I probably need to pay a hundred another 30 bucks because I want the one that's controllable, uh, that's got a schedule. But yeah. but but I can sell them or we'll have a contest here and give them away or something. Oh, that's that's a better idea. Jim, you, I like that. If you guys want a con if you guys beefers want a contest, let us know what it should be. <laughs> I got some shit to give away. Some shit it's to Jim. give away. Jim, would yeah. you would you know, I had heard, and I don't remember who the source was or if it was all that reliable, but that j came out with that Nero thing and then AI rebadged it? Or was it the mm. other way around? No, that doesn't sound right. No, I think there was some Italian company that initially <clears throat> had the Nero. I remember there was some weird little company. I remember at a show hmm. um, that these pumps were out and some weird non-American guy was talking to me about it. And 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 then the next year they were bigger. I mean, several years ago, I'm up at Ecotech touring at the old facility because that was awesome. And yeah. they got Neros all over the place running, right? Jay yeah. had a Nero in his tank. There were a whole bunch of Neros in the warehouse area being stress test. Did 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 stress test did did did. Yeah. I uh you know I have a hard time believing that it started with Jaybo. I yeah. that just doesn't make okay. sense to me. But yeah. uh, Jabo SLW uh, looks an awful lot like a Nero and is pretty bulletproof. If well, we're going to start this conversation, I would say, you know, for the longest time for me, Jabo was like a dirty word for years yeah. and years. And, you know, I just sort of looked past that for so long. And then it wasn't until a couple of years ago. And I really I, I took over a tank with a Jabo on it. This is like four or five years ago. You know what? That son of a bitch is still on there running. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got a, a RW. I think was Older. before was before the PPs. Yep. And 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 people were complaining about them. And I had one running in here on a sixty gallon near the floor for five years that just put out a wave that was unmatchable. <clears throat> and um, you know, if ever I needed a little pump, I would just buy one of their pumps because. The, the other thing that occurred when we used to talk about this 10 years ago or 15 years ago, whenever j Bosch first showed up, it was like, you know, people were like, well, these other pumps last. And I was like, I, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing the failure rate to be at least the same. You know, a wet side goes every couple of years. The j Bosch I haven't touched and it's still going. So I, I never bought this idea that the, the the more expensive pump is more reliable. It did. And also, you know, juice worth the squeeze kind of crap. We say all the fucking time on the show, but, you know. Weren't you if, just squeezing some juice? Go ahead. Uh, twice. Uh, if, if I need to replace a j Bow pump every three years, right, but I never do anything to it and it costs me 200 bucks and I need to replace a more expensive pump, I don't want to pick on any of the companies that you know in particular but yeah a, a, a 400 dollar pump that i have to fuck with and keep it clean so it doesn't go down lazy ass me is probably looking at that and going it's about the same amount of money and one's less work uh i've got there's four mp10s in this house two of them people gave to me because their their bushings are gone those are probably close to 10 year old mp10s they're old so that's cool uh i've had one wet side go on one of my yeah. mp10s not that big of a deal right the uh the ceramic shaft yeah gave up uh i've had a couple jbos go i have a pp that's been running for years and then slw and sdws everything fucking breaks You're right right everything breaks so uh unless you're going to pay big big money by like a biz or something like that i mean your shit's just gonna break and that's cool that's what it does you just got to be prepared for it you got to have a spare on the shelf that's yeah. what it comes down to you can complain about your shit breaking because your shit's gonna break yeah well the other the other part of that is your shit is gonna break how long how often do you think it's gonna break because i think of everything in my tank as a consumable if you're putting yeah. it in salt water oh, it's totally consumable. and 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 you know the last <laughs> mistake i made was buying backups for my Fluval S all C's SP sixes that I use as my closed loop and my return, uh, because I figured they were going to break really quick, and I needed and and now I've got you know 
the pumps just keep going and I've got Yard brand sale. new ones. So, Yard sale. so if you don't, right. So either, so the other thing about n- not having a, you, you, I like to have a, a backup on the shelf. So I'm up and running quickly, yep. but I'm always thinking about, you know, if I got to replace an intake water pump every four years, there's maybe that's too soon. Maybe it's five to eight years. There'll be something newer that's going to do the job more efficiently or have a different form factor. There'll be a reason to change by then. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's, that's me babbling. <clears throat> well, I dig. Go ahead, Ben. No, I'm saying you're the guest. Go for it, brother. I say, you know, dig all you want. Fancy shit. Buy it. Buy the name brand. Have a, have a, a shitty pump on the shelf just in case. Oh, that's have a, a Jabo oh. as your backup. Sure. Have a Jabo return pump as your backup. They've treated me well, but it could break. So I, I always have something on the shelf. You don't have to double up on a five hundred dollar pump. You can buy a hundred dollar pump as your backup. Well, yeah. Okay. Here's two thoughts. Um, one thing is okay, Jabo. If a pump breaks, now I could be completely wrong on this, but the thought has always been: Who in the, is there anyone to call? Nope. You're tossing it. Right. Yep. Yeah, you're cutting it apart or saving it for parts or whatever. You're saving whatever parts are like still they good. don't even case, try. Can, no. No. Who are you gonna? But, I mean, there's nobody to call. But even if it's like, but if you think of it, it's just like Jake. That's like if you have a, a maxi jet power head that goes down, are you calling someone to get that? It's like at no. some at some point you just go, this Cut is just losses. a fucking pump. Of course, <laughs> it's been running for four years and now it's broken. Now I'm grumpy. <laughs> Shut up! It's a fucking pump. Well, it's I had two bucks. thoughts. I had two thoughts. So the second thought was, um, a, a Vortec does cooler things than a Jbo. Oh sure. Like what? Just because we're talking. I, I, I mean, anyone that knows what a Vortec is, just you know, little little nicer controller and do, and just does more, really. Like what? The, like all the ramping up and ramping down and everything. Yeah. What do you? Do? It ha- it has it has other than the pulse. That's yeah. the Jabo pulse, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> right. The only reason I I'm if asking that it. is because I'm a dick. Okay, there's two reasons I'm, I'm sick, asking. Man. That. Come on. <laughs> One I, is it's because I'm a dick, uh, and two is because I've been looking at Jabos. I'm I I just ordered the SLW30 Wi-Fi uh-huh. because that um, you can program that. Do you need that? I'm I, trying to figure out why the fuck we need Wi-Fi in a power. Okay, no, no, I don't want the fucking Wi-Fi. Okay. I don't want the Wi-Fi. I want to be able to program different modes to happen at different times of day. I feel that's okay. important. Um, See, I and, like the little light sensor. That's all I care about. I want to put it on, and then I want to push that light sensor so it just turns off. So, it wait, it doesn't turn off. It ramps way down right when the lights are off. Yeah, yeah. Now, maybe that's dumb. I don't know. You tell me. You're, no, it's you know not dumb. I, I like to have uh, four or five different, or six, actually. Four. I do it in groups of four. Um, tied in, tied out, slack and ebb. Okay. I, I just like that. Um, I I'm think, a slacker. I think, Is that uh, okay? I, I'm an I'm ebber. An ebber. <laughs> I have twice earlier today. <laughs> Um, I think that allows me to keep a lot of shit in suspension and get everything, the uh, breeze, the watery breeze it needs. Um, but I'm a weirdo with that. You know, I also wanted to program, I wanted to use the season, the lunar table yeah. on the apex to be able to ramp up and down pumps, but it, it, uh, Terrence. And I, and I keep giving you bad advice on how to make that happen with a Jabo. It's fucking fantastic. I, I have all those things, but I did realize that I can either sell them. Or give them away, or we can have a contest. If you want a contest, tell us what we should contest about, because we have no idea what you should con- <laughs> The best fan art? I don't know what the hell that is. Put Richard's it in the like, comments. Richard's like, beefers, <laughs> tell me what to say. Tell me tell what me, to think. Tell me what to contest. Um, but the, the Wi-Fi one allows you to schedule different events across the day. And so that that's the only reason. If it would connect to the... Freaking old stuff, Jay. If I'll put together to make it to connect to other controllers, I'd be much more happy. But yeah, if you could find PPs, you could do it with that thing I sent you. Right, but or that thing that Jeff sent you. But that's a lot of money for that thing. That thing was thirty-five bucks. I have that thing now. Which um, one? The big one or the little one? The little one that runs the uh, gyre. Beep. 
Uh, oh, it does. It's 35. <laughs> I saw it for more than that. I thought it was like 35 bucks. I don't that's know. That's awesome. Um, that's a, that's a thing that goes in between you, you plug your JBO into it and then you plug yeah. that into your apex, no controller. So you take the JBO controller right. and you toss that in your bucket. Oh, stuff. Right. And then you run your JBO off your fancy zero to 10 thingy. And the problem is that JBO changes things or is it JBO? We don't care. They don't answer the phone. J J <laughs> J J Jables. Uh, or, or if you're fancy, Jabao. Jabao. Wow. Yeah, JC like Penye. Pants. Right, right. It's like Tarjay. Yeah. Tarjay. Tarjay. Um, who, you know. So, yeah, I want them to work because I want them to do specific weird things because I'm a nerd and want to nerd out. So, this is like, I was talking with PH, somebody about PH today. I, I think on the Discord, I convinced somebody not to fuck around with their PH because their tank is eight months old and they've had yeah. acros for two months. I was like, sh sh shut up, baby. Stop. Shut up, baby. It's okay. Yeah. Right? Although I had to go back and look. What was shut up, baby? And shut up, baby was really like, oh, shut up, baby. It wasn't yeah. shut up, baby. No, it, it was, was like the baby <laughs> worrying about talking it. Talking to an actual baby. Taxes. Yeah. I didn't I didn't get that context in your text. Oh, I did okay. not see I, that. Wait, wait, Good. wait. Let me let me get uh, wait, I want to finish perspective. I, I, well, let me finish. Otherwise, I'm I I, I, I feel stuck. like God, it it's this I don't want people to run out and get pumps because Rich said you know, five cycles a day are the way to go. Uh, um, I just like that. Okay, Ben. Wow. Thank you, Magneto. That was, no, was quite the disclaimer. Yeah. No, so so me as a professional <laughs> installer talking about cheaper equipment, there's a time and a place for that. But when you get a hold of clients that, that have the wherewithal to buy cool stuff, man, you want to order and use cool stuff. Yeah. But that makes but them I, happy. I will it makes admit, you happy. What's that? I said it makes them and you happy. If, 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 Hey, Ben. Hey, Richard. Saltwateraquarium.com is kind of like our primo awesome sponsor, right? Absolutely. They're pretty, they're pretty badass. They're a small family owned business, but they're big enough to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Right. They now sell. What do they sell? ORA stuff. ORA stuff. Livestock. Okay. A full range of aquacultured fish and corals from ORA. Check it out. The link will be downstairs. They've got um, a new line of San Francisco Bray brand food and ocean nutrition. So if you're looking for that, they've also got what Ben likes so much, the, the wholesale setting you, program. The wholesale program. Why do you like the wholesale program from Saltwater Saltwateraquarium.com? Because I'm a business. And so I can order from them. And I use their on their online app. I sit in my bed on my phone and I order stuff that I need through their wholesale program. If you're a maintenance company, a store or any of that in between there, then yeah. uh, public aquarium, then you now have discounts. And speaking of discounts, it's the time of year in North America where people go insane for saving money. And so that's called Black Friday. That seems like that's not what I would call it. I would call it Happy any Friday. Yeah. It's called Black Friday. Uh, Black Friday and uh, their Thanksgiving promo. Um, Saltwaterquarium.com has got special promos for those. So check them out as well. Uh, basically, this is a good time to go to their website. They got a lot of stuff going on. So go check it out. They've been with us for a long time. We've been with them since before the show existed. Saltwaterquarium.com. Go check them out. If you love us, you love them. Check them out. And when you order from them, order through our, you know, down below through our URL. And when you do order, please put something in the comment sections like I only ordered because Ben told me to or because Richard told me to or let your grandfather out of the closet or any of those things. Any Just of those things. Them. It's yeah. it's you know, if as as they get longer and more interesting, the people when beefers do that, uh, Ken from Saltwater Corona sends them to us. He send one to me. So we want him. We if you want to help us out, share the show and all that crap. but. Try to get Kenneth to send us your comment. Mm -hmm. All right. Check out, click the link below, saltwaterquarium.com. If, 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 what I'm looking for in this spot is a different form factor of pump. It's got to be the right size, right? The yeah. reason there's not a pump <clears throat> in this place right now is because they're all long and stupid and will look bad there. The Nero kind of as 
LW pump is is pancaking and kind of disappears. So that's why I want it. And if I'll tell you right now, if if CJ or or what's the um, or uh, Apex Neptune Systems made a pump of that form factor that was more money, I would have bought that already. You know, I would have I would have stayed in the ecosystem and they would have had my money. I wouldn't be looking outside. Can't you do Nero? on mobius now or is that just ai yeah. lights nero's on mobius but okay. apex is not yet on mobius and i'm sorry but mobius is like this see that's interesting maybe we can come back to that later because i've had great mobius experiences well it, it, with, one of you one of you is in the military for 20 years and in pharmaceuticals <laughs> and the other cleans fish tanks and the other snorts pharmaceuticals <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah. So, hey, Jaybo, uh, been running three <laughs> in in my slurry bucket. Yeah. Three SLW tens. Now that's one of them, rough. Took, a, one of them took a shit at, at one year. That's the combat other, duty. Right. The other, the second one, two hundred or three hundred and seventy five days. I made a little track. Really. Three hundred seventy five days in three percent slurry. The the third, which is now the second one in the bucket, because I run redundant just in case one of them takes a shit. 227 days they're tough little bastards yeah i i when i was doing slurry i would use a maxi jet mm-hmm. to keep it going and, oh, and just, mine, oh, mine lasted seven out. days maxi oh, jet lasted seven days in mine my i had it so it was drawing from the top and mixing at the bottom so maybe that okay. helped a lot and they would you know and i knew it was like well it's a 30 dollar pump if this is it's a consumable i'm not gonna waste my time trying to find something that's going to be perfect it um, added heat too because it was ac yeah that's true. That's probably why they failed. <laughs> Precision Marines uh, Kalkster way back in the day used a Maxi Jet 1200. That thing sat out to the side and sucked from the top. And but, it, but it would eat shit constantly. Yeah. Was it, it intermittent was, though? Yeah, you'd put it on a timer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what, what do we got to say? Ben, you had questions about Jabal or something. Well, I mean... I guess I wore the right shirt. But they yeah. might be questions how'd, that... that how'd I don't you get that, that shirt? I made this shirt, oh, teespring.com slash telegram. Awesome. <laughs> you, I you ordered your those. shill jacket. Shill. Oh, yeah. did you? I'll, uh, if you did, if you order my shit, because changing prices on Teespring sucks so bad, yeah. DM me on Instagram and show me that you ordered it, and I'll refund the profit that okay. I make on everything I sell. $2.03. No, some of these are like 4 or $5. Really? I'm like, I don't want that. Ugh. I'll give it back. I'm just um, going to publish my receipt that everyone can send to you. <laughs> yeah. Look Fuck the man. Did. Look how much he's making. <laughs> yeah. How do you like that, Jim? That's what you do to everyone else. <laughs> That's right. Right up the wazoo. Plot twist. Rich and I are big reefing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is a trap. That's, That's why I wear the helmet and he has a knife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. It's stuck in my back. It is. No, I don't know that any one of us can answer this question. The question was just like, you know, when j Bow first came out and they were just, I, I guess that's fair enough. That's like anybody. I mean, there was like tales of something <clears throat> catching on fire, but it's like, maybe it was just trash talking from the manufacturers. A different- See, there's still that the tales of stuff catching on. If I, if I buy alternative gear for say my hydros, then I find myself cautioned by others that my I'm going to burn down all that is mine. I'm like, hey, I got sprinklers in my house. So shut up. B, mm-hmm. no, it ain't. It's the same damn thing. Like I bought a feeder for my hydros. It's the same manufacturer. It looks identical. Only you can buy it in different colors so you can match your tank if you so desire. Mm. And it's fine, right? These little power strips. Uh, well, there's a real, uh, whatever the hell that was. There's a real good chance that, <laughs> that all that shit talk was in fact shit talk. And it wasn't like everybody having a hard time with the stuff, except for maybe early j sucked. Now yeah, they don't well, suck. I think when j was coming out, you know, that's when, that was after the MP, the Vortex came out like five mm-hmm. years. and during that time there was a whole lot of dicking around with pumps trying to make a prop pump that worked you know people you could buy a kit made by some dude in his underwear in a bathtub i'm sure todd will tell us who did this um you know a kit for a um a, um a mag drive that would make it into a giant prop pump 
Um, Algae Free did that with their sure grip. No, magnet. that was for the maxi jets. Yeah, but then you they had the kit where you would take the bottom volute off, and that would the, for me that was the very beginning of prop pumps. Prop pumps, and 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 there were people literally ripping off the Vortec because I remember there was some litigation early about that, which I understood. Huh. These guys did a lot and they patented it and you're fuck you. That's that's and not they, all right. they keep renewing it. They find. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Continuously. And, and so I think they're and this was when we were, you know, idiots <laughs> like me were soldering lights and, you know, it was just it did was it, a different it. shit did catch fire more often back then because it was shittier. Yeah. Um, I think I think that uh, that kind of specter of doom has has continued to float around where you know, j Bell makes a lot of stuff. If it was burning up, I think we would be able to point to some evidence that it was burning up, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's I think a, there's none. I mean, I guess it's, it maybe this is something I need to get over, but it seems like it's insulting to me that there's like no one to call on the phone or buddy up, buddy up with it. With CJ, you know, I can talk to, call Jason or Steve right away and get a part for it. And that's I, that's you. When I try to call them, they like are fuck you, Rich. You <laughs> a lot of people like that service. You yeah. got to hold the pencil, dude. Yeah. I was supposed to talk to Steve today and he was like, fuck you. Not till yeah, tomorrow. Because, you know, why? That... because he was talking to me. No, I understand. I understand. There... The idea of being able to get somebody on the phone and go, my yep. $80 pump is broken after a year of me abusing it. What are you going to do for me? I, I, get it. I, I understand people like that. Yeah, that stupid. matters. It, it's stupid, but it's not stupid. No, it's not at all stupid. At some, I don't know. What do you think? Everybody's Jennifer? calibrated differently, right? There we go. Everybody has a tolerance for that kind of shit. And some people don't have a big tolerance for that. They're they, like, my shit broke. But everything breaks. But my shit broke. Right. And they want that service. But it, then it just feels weird to throw it in the trash and order another one. But I mean, if it costs a fraction of the other stuff, okay. I got to fucking... Wanna, they want to... They want to feel taken care of. Yeah. And I get that. That costs money. If you want to be, if you want to be rubbed and tugged, it's going to cost you. Yeah. Everyone's got their own limit of what they're going to, you know, it's like. Absolutely. And also it's, I think it's got to do with experience. I keep coming back to this. If you've been in it for 20 years, you have a different perspective. And you know, like when people complain about, Oh, FedEx fucked up and my stuff didn't get here. I'm going to UPS. It's like, you're out of your mind. You, UPS None of is going to fuck you over next week. All you can do is try yeah. to figure out how to get less fucked. You're not going to win, you know? So that probably means have your stuff sent to a pickup station. Uh, you know, if I'm getting yeah. stuff from FedEx and I live in a fucking city, um, it goes to a pickup station because sometimes they just don't show up, right? UPS is Agreed. fine. You go get so, it. It's the same kind of thing with the pumps, I, I, I feel like. But I think the, the idea that everybody has their own their own line about what what they like. I mean, if and I all just, of those are they're all OK, they're all all okay. those lines are OK. That's the thing. When we get excited, we we it, we for, we forget to punch that part of it. It is are, fine for you to do shitty reef keeping. <clears throat> no, see, I blew it right there. That's not how you say that. <laughs> There are those who who <laughs> like to brag too, though. Let's be honest about that. Oh, I got I got the super expensive pump. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That happens. Which which, which is which, fine too. Well, it right? can be funny because I, I've I've seriously stood in front of tanks where it's like you know they have an MRC sump and a Bubble King skimmer and an Abyss pump and on and on and on and I'm looking in the tank and it's like, did you fucking forget about what's inside the tank? Right. I think I know I'm guilty of this, but I think every fucking hobby is the same way. Right. I think cars are the same way. I think model uh, RC planes are the same way. Kiteboarding is the same. Everything's the same. People think gear is the answer. So they get excited about gear before they have skill and that's fine. And sometimes they never get past that and they're just gear chasing. And some of them really just dig the gear because it's cool. Oh, sure. Yep. Um, it's weird, I think, for our hobby, for me at least, because the animals seem to be the important part to mm -hmm. me. Uh -huh. um, There's but, fragile animals involved. But I can't really but. be. But 
the gear is super accessible, super visible, and easy to make pretty and get somebody to tell you a good job with. Reef bling, bitches. Reef bling. Reef bling. We fucking named the show completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, Reef bling. RBD. Reef bling, bitches. <laughs> Reef I mean, bling. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. RBD. It's hard to say, isn't it? RBD. I'm not saying my position here, but I'm saying. I remember uh, me and a buddy when we were young and we just picked up mountain biking and we, we lived near Lake Grapevine in the Dallas area. And all right, peanut gallery. No, but we, we just had our like $400 mountain bikes and like torn up, ripped up bloody clothes. And we'd go to Lake Grapevine and we went every fucking day and we got so damn good. We're like, you know, going down ravines and jumping up. And then you'd see a dude in like on a Cannondale with like oh, yeah. the Lycra or whatever in the helmet, like run right into a cliff. Now I, I have to say though, sometimes we thought we were cool and badass, <laughs> and you'd see a dude in Cannon in a on a Cannondale like fly the fuck over you and over <laughs> trees and shit. And it's like oh, okay, there's the yeah. fucking pro yeah. or something. Sure. But yeah, like showing up dudes in fancy gear all the time. It makes you feel good. In photography, um, it's the same thing, right? People who don't know what's going on come up and go, what kind of camera you got? Mm -hmm. And it's like, God, don't don't ask a photographer that because yeah. it's not the gear, right? It's a skill. You know, there was a thing shit people say to photographers, which was great. <laughs> and one of them was, you know, somebody grabbing the camera going, M, what is M for? And it's like, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. Moron. We're, we're yeah. done with this conversation. <laughs> If, 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 Hey, Ben. Hey, Richard. We got a, a sponsor that's jumped on recently, Champion Lighting. Uh, they, they're, they're a big player, uh, mostly on the East Coast, but I've known about them forever. I've always known that if I was looking for a hard to reach product, hard to find product, they often have it uh, when other places may not. Um, but they've got a couple products that you can't get anywhere else. What are they, Ben? They have products from this company called Captivate. They have a whole list of, you know, trace elements and foods and all sorts of stuff that uh, not many other people are, ca are carrying. And they have a product that is exclusive to them, a new adhesive that's coming out called SeaTac that mimics the adhesive properties of mussels. Yeah. So it's not, not mussels like this, but sea mussels. Like mussels you eat yeah. uh, or animals eat. Uh, it's a, it's a good, uh, my understanding is that it's got a long tack time and it can work underwater and it, it, it will structurally support things a little bit even before it's cured. Uh, and it takes uh, about 20 minutes to cure. It's supposed to be really great stuff. I cannot wait to try it. Um, the Captivate is also uh, exclusively available from Champion Lighting and Supply. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Captivate food. Some of it's supposed to be on my way to me. Um, and I'm always looking for other quality foods to add to my food regimen. So thank you for your sponsorship. Please check out Champion Lighting and Supply. If, 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 if. So what yeah. do you want to ask Jim about Jabo? No, we're, we kicked Jabo, man. Let's move on I to think lights. So what are we moving on to? Lights. What you want to know? Bye. Lights. Lights. Yeah. Jim, you were, That's you were hotness. holding. You were holding what I wanted to talk about because. Oh, yeah? Well, no, it's weird. Like, I don't want to pump it up too hard because it's not like they're a sponsor or anything. But you freaked my shit out. You introduced me to a light that seemingly to me comes out of nowhere. Hadn't, But I had heard a couple people talk about it, but it's Refi. Yeah, it's Refi. Refi Uno. I am completely unaffiliated with Revi and Daniel. Don't, don't you shill. Don't you shill. I'm not shilling. I don't have my shill sweatshirt yet. If I had it, I'd be wearing shilling it. Shilling like a villain. I'd put it on over top of my J-Bo, and, oh, yeah. and then I'd put it back down. Long time ago, everybody's talking Refi. Not everybody. There's this 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 core pocket of Refi users that I kept getting pinged by. Yo, you test a Refi yet? You test a Refi yet? You test a Refi yet? No. And so I hit up Refi. And they're like, uh-uh, we're not sending you one. I was like, I'll pay for shipping. Actually, I've offered that up to a couple different manufacturers. Uh, only GHL has taken me up on that. But oh, anyway. Wow. I think Sanjay, <clears throat> Sanjay, who used to test lights, oh, yeah. run into the same kind of problems. Yep. Um, it's interesting. However, so uh, Refi users reached out to me 
uh, one in particular, Potato, Potato, in your Discord. I love him. <laughs> I love Potato. Potato's like, I got some. You want them? I'm like, hell yeah, I do. So out of the kindness of his heart, he sends me a Duo Extreme and an OG Uno, the first Uno. And I was like, well, these lights are kind of badass. And I tested them both. And the Duo Extreme was a very powerful, nice spectrum light. I was like, this is nice. And it was at the time it had to coupon. It was 650 bucks. I was like, that's a pretty good price for a 200 watt light. Then I tested the old Uno and I was like, this little fucker's powerful too. Cause it was putting out about the same average par over the same area, but in a much smaller form factor, right? So you got to think about clean glass and the whole thing that you're going to have to deal with to get that light to bounce around in there the way you want it. But then I looked at the spectrum and it was super violent. It was really shifted left. But some people like that. Some people like that deep blue violet thing. And for those who dig it, that original Uno is spot on. Then Daniel started working on this Uno 2, which is a small light, right? This thing's not big. It's tiny. And I hooked this thing up to my kilowatt and it pulled 280 watts at full power. It is a hot little bastard running 280 and it puts out a lot of light i haven't tested that yet go ahead it's it's small but it's got diodes all the way to this friggin side it does and although you can't see it because it's blurry each one of those is four diodes in each one so it's a quad in there castle type situation Mm, yes but no no, but kind of maybe but not really actually if you stuck them all together maybe so i've i see four different colored diodes in one hole I um, wish I didn't see the, the so, um, thermal management is fucking insane. It's got a big ass heat pipe, heat spreader in there, a single fan, and it is at spectrum. It's pretty damn quiet. What's the if name you run of this thing? Sp- what's that? What's the name of that type of thermal management? Heat pipe. Heat pipe. You see that in um, GPUs and CPUs in badass coolers and computers. It's in there. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, uh, because of my experience testing those other two, which by the way, I sent one back, really wanted to do it, but I didn't keep it. And then Lynn Reefner, a local here, she bought the other Uno, uh, because of my experience with that, I, I bought this little guy just to play with it. Yeah, yeah. I like, that's something I enjoy. So I, whatever, I'll run this thing through the dealio and we'll see how it does. And you'll see the numbers. So I tried a, uh, what is it? A Quanta? Quanta, is that the right? Quanta bar? Yeah, I got Quantas up here, yeah. So Luca Martino, his his Quanta Reef uh, bars, he offers four different spectrums from the Quanta Pro, if I'm remembering right. It sounds right. And uh, they're powerful little suckers too. Actually runs the diodes because he packed more diodes in a 24-inch bar and various sizes, whatever. He put more diodes in a bar than anybody else. So he runs them at lower amps through each diode and they, and he tuned those spectrums. So he created his own, um, spectrum simulator and I don't know how the fuck he did this, but he created his own spectrum simulator on his computer at home. So he was able to tune and dial that thing in. He was super cool, uh, allowed me to lightly be a part of that process, which was really nice of him. And then the lights he put out are You'll see. You have those, nice. uh, I got the yeah. one. I got the Meso Blue. I mean, I that, you know, I, it's the same thing. You know, <clears throat> if you really want to know if a piece of equipment works in this hobby, you got to just buy it and play with it. Yep. That's, that's that's what I do. That's just that's just it, right? So like I've got actually, and sometimes it's not just me having to buy it. Like this is that this is that knockoff Radeon. Oh yeah! Oh, wow. Who made yeah. that? Oh, who right knows? Off. It's called a no. Yeah, J Bo. It's called an A plus. And oh my god, from, from far away, it just looks like a Radeon. Except for, you know, it's yeah. the, the, and uh, it doesn't suck. I mean, isn't that, if you're at Ecotech, isn't that something to sue about or not quite? I don't know. Jay talked about it on uh, one of his one of his streams. One of his shows that they had, they talked about that thing. But it, I mean, it doesn't suck. You are going to get zero support. I don't, I don't care who you yeah. are, right? You're not going to call the magic people in Pennsylvania and get some love. You got nobody to call. So if you're going to spend 500 bucks on this light and it goes to shit, it goes to shit. Well, and that's, I wonder if that's the, the rub because so if it's made in China and they, and they, <laughs> that's the rub. And oh, tug. Okay. No, but if, if you know that you could get, 
if you, you boys, would you grow up? If uh, if you know you're gonna you could get sued for something, then you just sort of stay like, yeah, it's made in China, and we don't quite know who's making it. Is that possible so, to do? I mean, this comes from China. You're gonna get this at AquariumLowCost.com or one of those kind of outlets. And then if you're or Ecotech LE. and you're like trying to send them a letter, of cease and desist, and it's like, no, ain't dice. nothing inside that thing. Ecotech. I took it apart and looked. Like, it just looks nope. like Ecotech with nope. like frog yeah. guts inside of it so yeah. what do we what do we think about the morality of these things right what do we <laughs> think about the idea of, you know egotech did a shit ton of work to get to where they are now they've they made this cool fucking light they're making money off this light some other company comes in and rips them off yep right and and rip off is also an interesting word right so you know i don't mean it necessarily as as what this company is doing you know the the abc reagents <laughs> You know, you know, um, we got an email from him because I said rip off, but I didn't really mean rip off. But but I kind of do mean rip off. It, it's you've taken somebody else's product and you've He's made a version again. of it to sell against their product. Right. Jonas won't get mad. I talked um, to Jonas about he it. didn't. He didn't seem mad, but he was like he didn't like the word rip off. And I totally understand that. Mm -hmm. um, but in a sense, it is. It's somebody else made something. Somebody made something to compete with it just because they could. Yep. Um, and, and the same thing with the, with the pumps and the lights. So what do we what do we think about all that? Oh, oh, I have very specific feelings about that. I want to hear them. You're the guest. It's gonna, yeah. It thanks. It's gonna, it's going to, it's gonna open the door for other people. So people will potentially come in. People will. Pen, uh, it it may improve access. It may help somebody take that step initially because it it seems a little less right. I mean, if you're going to buy a Trident and you're going to keep using the hell out of that thing, ABC is a great option. If you don't want to pay Neptune for their juice, you can pay ABC for theirs, or now ABC is coming out with a, a dry product. So now you add your own water because guess what? Your water is way cheaper than Neptune's. Yep. And you, you are given the opportunity to continue doing what you love with the product provided by ne uh, Neptune that you like. And that's cool, right? That lets people yeah, continue to do what they're doing yeah. uh, on a budget. I can Regarding... totally get my head around that one. That makes complete sense to me. But that leaves We're... also open a lot of space for user error. So then you're like, my, then that's what would make me mad if I was Neptune. <clears throat> then people calling like, my Neptune doesn't work. What are you using? ABC things. And I even bought the powdered one. It's like, dude, and click. So it comes down to... Some people aren't smart enough to pull this shit off. Some people should just do it the way that it's intended. Other people who want to explore and do things differently have to be smart enough to be able to support themselves. Fair it's enough. not necessarily an intelligence thing. Maybe it's an experience thing. Maybe it's a tolerance thing. Maybe it's a calibration thing. So maybe smart's not the right word, but too late, I already said it. People have to be smart enough to be <laughs> able to support themselves if they're going to take those alternative channels. I, I would dare say if you're smart enough to get the ABC things and the dry one and do it yourself. If it doesn't work, you're not going to get on the phone with a nope. Nope, yeah, you're right. not. Well, crap, I did it wrong. Boom. Some some people are. S some and those are maybe the users that shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. And it puts but, uh it puts everyone in a bad light. But 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 those people are eventually going to put everyone in a bad light. No matter whose product they buy, they're going to they're going to complain about it unjustly. And then it becomes a then it becomes a story that people tell, right? There's one right. person that it happened to, and then boom, it's a story that right. doesn't right. matter, but somehow matters. Like a J Bell pump catching on fire that you, you know, yeah. right? Tie or, it around. Or, or somebody breaking into a casino's uh intranet via a controller. Uh was that a thing? Mm. No, not really. No, but that's a story. <laughs> the story so, stories are unkillable. React they are. truth truth gets murdered on a regular basis in front of us and we giggle about it stories live forever one Lice must when have I... their own filter to be able to figure it out right if 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 if, 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 if. hey richard this episode is powered by polyp lab Polyp lab. polyp lab what polyp you got there you got refroids you got the genesis block 
And you yep. got the gluelets. And the gluelets. The glues. This is yeah. uh, the Refroids. It comes in a bag, which is good because bags hold the things you want inside of them in one handy place. Uh, this is a, one of the foods I use for spawning baby corals. Uh, the full moon was yesterday. So uh, in about a week, hopefully I'll have coral spawn. And then about a few weeks after that, I'll be feeding them this. Uh, it's a good all around coral food. I like it a lot. It's, it's been in my mix since forever. The other product is these glulets. Ben, you really got me on these. They, they come with a glue grenade as well, but you can get them in a pack of however many is in here. And they're just little glulets. So it's, it's if you've got a couple of frags or a small application, it's great instead of uh, opening up a whole thing of glue and then having to deal with an open thing of glue and have I put it somewhere and is the cap going to be glued on when I go to use it? Going to have to poke a hole in the side so it squirts all over me and then I'm covered in glue. Oh my God. Powered by it. Polyp Lab. We love you. Powered by Polyp Lab. If, 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 um, if, no. So look, okay. So uh, knockoffs. Yes. I understand that knockoffs make people mad. Knockoffs make, um, you know, product supporters, brand supporters, that kind of thing. It makes them mad for whatever reason. Everything we're using in front of us right now is somebody's knockoff. Absolutely. Everything that's around us, right? Somebody knocked that shit off. It's all kind of the same thing. Uh, niche hobby, very few manufacturers, that kind of thing. I get that kind of frustration. To me... And I've had this debate a couple of times of, I think I always lose, but whatever, I feel good about it. I think that should drive innovation from the, the legit manufacturers that I can call and ask for help. I think it needs to drive their innovation to make their shit more badass. And then the copiers have to try to figure that out. It's constantly that game. If you get to the point where you don't want to be a badass anymore, where you don't want to innovate and improve, then get the fuck out because somebody else is coming. So what do you think about the idea that, that um, and it may not be true anymore because the hobby is bigger than it used to be. It's still not as big as people I think think oh, it it's is. Tiny, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, is is there enough? Well, clearly there is. I don't even have to finish. <laughs> I was going to say, is there enough money to drive people to rip off? And clearly the answer is yes because they're doing it. If 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 the hobby wasn't big enough for them to make a profit, somehow they wouldn't have that that uh, that. Uh, J Botech light. But this, this reminds me though of, you know, when I go, when I go on, uh, like I don't go on forums, but I see the Facebook, like the Neptune Apex page. And yeah. they're, like once a month, someone's always going, when is Neptune going to make a, like a master tronic? Like, like, let me test nitrate and phosphate, you know, and everyone like rolls their eyes because it's like, they're not going to do it. Because again, Richard, what you said, it's weird. I think we get lost and we think that this is some, huge industry and it's a niche inside of a niche like if i'm neptune and you're making decisions of things to make and again the juice is worth the squeeze like we have to sell this many units to make up for the r d for this and there's already oh, yeah. a product out there except except i, I don't know that they're not going to do it i don't think i've ever said that i didn't say you said anything oh, okay good <laughs> do they good. need to do it do they need to do it S somebody will buy it Oh, right. people, I think a people shit the ton of people tonic. will buy it, right? And what is a shit ton for our industry? We don't we don't know numbers like that. But if ten thousand if ten thousand people buy it, which is not a stupid number, that's probably worth making. And it's got to be a squeezy juicy for Neptune as well, because they then have to position themselves to be able to support that fucking thing, right? And and if they don't knock it out of the park right right away. That's a sh uh, 2016 apex. Right. That caused yeah. them a lot of heartburn, right? Right. Yeah. But they got on top of it. They don't need that. Like no. the sky, the sky came out and the sky just worked. The sky was the, the, the simplest light I have ever, ever, ever connected to the world. Yeah. I'm like, boop, bloop, done, making light. It was that easy. That's what they now, need to do. There, there's right. another so that's thing. why if, if they're going to work on a product, they're just going to shut the fuck up until they've got it. It has to be perfect. It's got to work. That was my advice to Daniel when he's talking about the challenges he was having with producing this thing. I was like, 
Oh, I'll wait. All right. I mean, I waited for this laser cutter that's back here. I waited for my stupid car in a driveway. I'll wait. Just make sure it's perfect dish. Now that refi, to to my knowledge, it doesn't look like a knockoff of anything. It looks like it's a unique, especially with the thermal management and all that. It's a unique unto itself. Yeah, this thing. Hold on. Let's see that heat pipe. Yeah, sing sing amongst yourself. So it... Uh, you don't the, have it to the, where you can show the heat pipe. Or we'll we'll grab yeah, that photo you, and we'll you, put it up here. You talk amongst yourselves, and I can pull it apart. But it apart. I mean, it comes with what I like about it is it comes with different s- whatever angle reflectors. reflectors. He calls them reflectors. Refix. So uh, this one's tighter. This one's wider. I think I yeah I got that right. You can take this off. Is it just use it at 100 and 160 degrees. No, it's easy. It's four screws on the back. Four screws. So when you're testing it, you can use two. Yes. Or not use them at all. Oh, just hold it there. Just hold it there. Dig so it. I can I can take that off, test it. I can put that back on, test it. I can put this one on, test it. And then they also make a 60 degree if you want to hang this fucker up really high. Column and, and get the right. So I mean they give you some options that turn this light into something whatever. I think I, I see this light as people will buy a prime and they're like, yeah, I bought a prime. And then later they're like, shit, I need more light. Then they go buy an XR 15 and then they're like, ah, shit. And then they go buy XR 30, right. As they change and grow and upgrade, whatever. Now they've bought three lights. (laughs) You could do this and this can be your prime XR 15 and XR 30 all in one light. Yeah. That's a good entry level light. For that yeah. reason, for four hundred fifty bucks, this carries you for a it while. Will, it will grow with you. It will, which no other light will do. Someone, no other light does that. Someone, someone also said that um, he he like does uh, what like updates frequently. Like Daniel does, yeah, yeah. Like there was a firmware update. I'm in the first batch. Um, I'm in, and there was a firmware update already available. Mm. I got convinced. I took over a 500 gallon, and I'm I'm about to order four of them to put over there. He sent me to a site where he they make a rails, and then he 3D prints some things that hold them onto there. Yeah, I actually he's got a because I have an RMS rail downstairs that I'm going to put over the IM100, and he has 3D printed little jobbers that fit on here, and it slides on the RMS. Oh, because I I sort I like RMS rails. Yeah, me too. They're great. That's my first and I dig it. Just one real quick last thing on the light is that I guess for me, the worry is like with Bill Wan with what was it? Aquarium engineering, aquatic aquarium engineering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it made killer, killer stuff and then disappeared. I mean, but it is what it is. But isn't the truth any of these companies could vanish in any second? Right. Ecotech could go buy an island. Be done. And they could and they could they'd be gone. A they can ride dirt bikes tour. into the sunset. Yeah, we're fuck you guys in the aquarium world. We're making pumps for pot growers. We're done. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Aquaponics. If 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 I mean, the, the, the monetary support's really helpful and really wonderful and lets us do things that we may not be able to do, like competitions that we're trying to figure out what they do. Uh, but, you know, talking to you guys in the Discord has been really fun, right, Ben? Discord. Please check out Discord. We'll put a link down below in the, in the notes that if you're unsure what Discord is. It's just sort of like a chatting app. Yeah. So thank you very much. Uh, if you want to support us more, go to reefbeef membership, reefbeef.com slash membership. And uh, thank you. We, we're we nothing without you. Thank you, Beefers. If, 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 shills. Have you shills. been called, have you, you've been called a shill. You must have been called a shill. I haven't been called a shill. You haven't been called a shill? No, I've Just... been called a lot of things, but not a shill. <laughs> But you're but, sort of an anti-shill. I'm, I'm, no, but I think every oh, we're all shills. We're all shills, regard, right? We all have what we what we want to what we want to hold close. Yeah, mm. you know, mm. I we, I, or, I mean, I get taken to task sometimes for talking about 
Neptune products. Oh yeah. I get called a shill and it's like, this fucking product I like, they're very nice to me. I don't get stuff really for free unless I'm beta testing, excuse me, mm-hmm. NSI. NSI. Got to, got to differentiate ourselves from everybody else. Um, <laughs> but I like the product. I mean, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of Neptune shit I don't use. You know why? Don't like it or don't need it. So yeah. you're all, it's the same thing about advertisers for the show. We're only going to tell you about stuff that we like. Is that make us shills? Yes and no yeah. and yes. So look, it's it's uh it's Chevy versus Ford. It's the stupid stickers on some some little winky motherfucker's truck where you're pissing on the Chevy symbol or you're pissing on the Ford symbol, right? It's just that. It's just that whole brand coddling, that brand love that we as humans like to do. I do it, you do it, you do it. I, I mean, it. it's just what we do, right? Fan I don't board. do it. I don't do it. <laughs> I I drink Coca-Cola cuz I truly like the taste. <laughs> Because you like butthole cancer. <laughs> Have you had butthole cancer? Twice. No. Then you can't even talk about it. Mr. <laughs> I barely still have two feet because I'm diabetic. <laughs> we talked about shills and we said there's really no shills. It's it's really just your attitude, right? It's it's other people's it, attitudes towards you, really. It's got nothing to do yes. with you. It comes back to your filter. It comes back to your individual tolerance and your filter and your calibration. If right. you can't handle it, turn it off. Yeah. Now there are shitty shills, right? There are people who are clearly just trying to make you buy something. That's yes. really different than people who use the product. And no, go, those are influencers. Yeah. I was about to say that like Instagram influencers. <laughs> like if I had a dollar for it, everyone's like, use this blah, blah, blah stuff. You and then you this. like private message. I'm like, what's in there? Oh, I don't know. They just pay me. Right. You know, I feel even worse when somebody sends me a thing for free. I almost, I, I somebody sent me something for free and I was like, I don't want to test this. I know it's not going to work. And if now, you send me something for free, you have to know that it needs to be good. Yeah. Cause I'm, well, I'm going to talk about it. So I'm, I'm feeling like I don't want to, don't send me shit for free, but just stupid. Send me shit for free. Cause I'm, I'm old and I have no hobbies now except for this. So <laughs> get me free. So we talked about shills. We talked about, support and ripoffs copying Mm -hmm. um and how it all comes it's all the same thing these are the contentious topics people get really bent about this shit but there's really nothing to really get bent about it's big enough for everybody everyone's got a different idea of what they want and why they want it right you know try harder right if you want to differentiate try harder try harder try harder try harder try harder try harder (laughs) Not not th- not try harder. Try yeah. harder. That's different. Try try. That's harder. harder. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Like okay, Mahina Mahina and Daniel, right? Uh, Refi. Yeah. Those are a couple of guys who tried harder. Right. So keep doing that. Yeah. There's other yeah. people out there that are doing it. Kurt Kurt from from Neptune. He was that was Kurt. You know, when, back in the day, back in the day and yep. then it grows. And then you've got a whole suite of new bullshit to deal with that no one is ready for. Right. Is it, isn't that how it works? It goes up. And then as one's coming down, the next one's coming up. Yeah. And that's just what we do until we die. That's it. Come Jim, here, come here, dolphin. Prim, what, what are, what are, I don't want you to think hard about this. Okay. I want you to think about, and just say the first two things that come to mind, not the, not super stressful. This is stressful. Hold yeah, on. Just let me, the first let me limber things, up. I need to limber up. Your two best pieces of advice. And what I mean by that is the first two things that come to your mind. You'll edit that probably, but maybe not. <laughs> the two pieces of advice you would give to a two year hobbyist. Chill the fuck out. Chill the fuck yep. out. Yep. Just first yep. ones, chill the fuck out because it's cool. The yep. second one find somebody or somebody's and this is right. This is what people say. Find somebody's that you can get behind align with and listen. Mm -hmm. I had somebody that was teaching me before I even started and I didn't listen. And it took me a long time to be able to get to the point where I listened and God damn it. He was right. So just find those people and you know, whatever people will tell you that all the time. Find the people you trust, find the people who are successful and just listen and then you're going to cluge together some with a D or without uh, whatever your way is and then stick with it. 
Don't wander off from that shit. Perfect. That's perfect. Jim, thank you for being our guest. Thank you. This is cool. It's cool. I look thank forward you. to the next time. Yeah, for sure. And we'll do all all power all the time, I think. Oh yeah. Let's heat some shit up. Let's make some sparks. Thank okay. you so much for being on. Super this could easily have gone 17 hours, which is why we don't live stream. <laughs> we love you, Jimothy. All right. Cool. All right. We'll see you later, man. Yeah, thanks, y'all. Thank you. This episode of Reefbeat Podcast was brought to you by our hosts, Rich Ross and Ben Johnson, produced by Ben Johnson, Rich Ross, and Snowman, directed and edited by Snowman, and special thanks to our gold and prime level beefers, Scott O, Rich P, Scott C, Pedro, Corey, and Ryan H. If you would like to be a prime or gold level beefer, check out reefbeatpodcast.com slash membership. Or maybe they don't. We're we're stuck in a weird place where we would like the show to be bigger and more because Snowman does so much work and Ben is so poor. We would like we would like there to be more of an income stream, <laughs> but we're also stuck with talking about, you know, my shit smells good. So, you know, so we're and we're just fucked. Dolphins checking your colonoscopy. Good thing you're not good thing you got that knife on you, Laura. Yeah. We're, we are scraping the barrel. Um, I know. This is what we get for not talking about power. I'm trying to get it back. Um, <laughs> okay. We're, we're so, shooting a show, right? Ain't God, somebody's going to cut that out. No. No, that'll, hell no. That, we're gonna that'll stay in. That's it. easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's low-hanging fruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, on the last episode, when it, the bloopers start with, there's no way he's leaving that in <laughs> was just for us. Cause uh -huh. it was insane. What we even went, that's insane. Yeah. Um, look, yeah. if, 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 oh, I was going to say the gray ham crackers. That's right. <sighs> I hear a sigh. <laughs> look at this. Look at, look at what the cat <laughs> drug in. Mm. Greyhound cracker. You, you, you boys are scraping the bottom of my fucking barrel. <laughs> yeah, we found. Are you all cleaned up, Ben? I don't understand. Boy, you looking pretty. <laughs> Goddamn, boy, you look good. Ooh, I want to. I want to hear you breathing so. Uh, yeah, see there it is. We just have to put them in our mouths. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> Purple drank. <laughs> Well, this is all usable material for the, for the government. <laughs> your, your face is usable. Uh, Especially today. Look, yeah, I, like I brought person. a straw because I figured oh, I like Magneto it. couldn't drink from a cup, but apparently I, Magneto's I a, smarter than all of us. I brought a peristaltic. I feel weird with my butcher knife. Why? I, <laughs> if that's what we all brought to a party, I just feel like a criminal. Um, no. I, yeah, I but why? A, I have a stupid hat. Jim can drink without sucking and you can kill people. Oh. <laughs> and it's coffee because I'm old. That's what old people drink after dinner. Is it? That's what, we uh, had, after we, dark? Yeah, yeah. It helps with that evening constitutional. Yeah. We shot that episode with Joe Waiulo. He was passing out at the very end. He probably <laughs> needed coffee. He no, that's old, old. That's a different old. Yeah. That's super old. <laughs> Fighting words, Joe. <laughs> Hi, Joe. We met once. But it was a really long time ago, and you were you were nice. Thank you. <laughs> Not next time. No. <laughs> there will never be another. My dogs are outside. I'll be right back. Oh, good. Oh, hey, let's oh, just, hey, Ben. Let's just get rid of him. Now, <laughs> now we can actually talk. If if this was uh, three or four weeks ago, we would have an answer already. Because of stupid dead Jake Adams, um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't so selfish. As to remove himself uh, from us, we I, we just text him right now. We he would know. He text would him know. right now. See if he answers. Life I is pesky like that, isn't it? It might be. I've been sneaking into joking about Jake, but I had this idea that big reefing took him out, oh. and that they were moving. They were and that uh, um, <laughs> that uh, that uh, Joey DIY is next. Uh, <laughs> and, well, let that be uh, and, a lesson, Jim. Yeah, it never I, was I. Don't think I haven't thought it. Yeah, never was I happier to only have sixteen hundred subs on YouTube to know that I'm way down the list yeah. of big reefing taking people out. 
we're way we're way out. Uh, we we were talking about uh, J Bow. Yeah. What we, we were oh where it came from or whatever. So. No. Yeah, go ahead, Jim. If you got something. No, to say. no, we went past that. You went out to play with the dogs or whatever oh, okay. you were doing. I mean, maybe right. you rubbed one out real quick. I'm not yeah. sure what you were it doing. It was fast. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, Ew. shocker. Rub However, <laughs> that's imp- now I'm impressed. Yeah. I, Hold on. Let I me know write that it. Down. I mean, if you were, we're you were this... in the you were in the military. <laughs> I have other skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, we're yeah, the quick and dirty was what. I mean, don't, the other don't thing, run off to take care of your dogs and yeah, rub two let, out. Let the dogs cause, out because Rich said so. Who let the dogs? No, that out. you should absolutely do. <laughs> go, you should go rub two out right now. Don't well, hold, even press the pause we'll button. Wait. We'll while wait. By this the way, Rich has, has while wiener this dogs. is playing, <laughs> and whoever throws the farthest, man or woman, <laughs> you win. You win a J Bow SW twenty. <laughs> Is that like an aquatic version of circle jerks? Is that what I have? I think it's a 10. It's a 10, right? It's the little one. It's oh, a, 10 a, or, a 10 or a 20. If, some, and tried to get into the Marines and got denied. Ooh. Did you? Did, Did you really? You? It's a long story. We'll do a show on it later. It okay. was in the 90s. But That's I had childhood epilepsy. But I still went through a MEPS like, and all that and had to do. He really the took the steam fun. out of that story, yeah. didn't he? We were all yeah. we were all geared up for something fun. Like no, a, dude, it's like an hour long story. Sideways, so they but didn't pinch up on you. You didn't have you didn't have strong enough epilepsy to make it to adulthood. To you make it to into say, the Marines, the Marines were like, "If you're going to get in here with epilepsy, you need big epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> you you can't have had a had a seizure within ten years." And it was during the time of Clinton. And they were drawn down the military. And then the military yep. part of the MEPS guy was, I was like, it, according to your rules, you know, I'm within, I haven't had a seizure in like 15 years, you know? And he was like, man, they're trying to get rid of people. Like if you have any sort of speed bump, they're just not wasting their time with that. <clears throat> in the late eighties, I had to have a plate removed from my hand so I could go in the air force. Uh, ah. They wouldn't let me in with that thing in there. Get out of here. Beat it. Beat it. No one loves you. Yeah. Don't, don't forget about don't forget love. <laughs> oh, no. Dogs think you love them, but if you very calmly tell them, I don't love you, uh, they walk away. Well, it's it's a happy voice. I don't but love it's, you it's at very, all. It's very dissimilar. It's, it's, it's very similar to that. I hope you fall into the chipper. <laughs> <laughs> Stop coughing. <clears throat> That's my OnlyFans channel, Heat Pipe. <laughs> <laughs> and spreader. Oh, no, that's that's my sidekick. The side spreader. spreader. <laughs> right. Master right. spreader. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Weiss, when I went to check the dogs, that's the story that's unkillable. The pill hasn't taken hold yet, buddy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> then, I, then you're not going to the colonoscopy. I've done it. I just don't trust. I've never trusted farts. He's just going back to Barstow. <laughs> somebody, somebody told me. Uh, somebody told I me. I used to a, live down the street from Barstow. I heard a sh- a shark story when I was little, <clears throat> and completely terrified of that ever happening. Oh, I can give you another one. All right. Any questions for us? Anything we can do for you while we got you here? I really hope you feel better. Both can can we fighters. validate your parking? Yeah, please. Not can up. you? Can you can you sign my boob? Yeah. Um, there was a dude at the talk I did gave last weekend. Did gave. Who did gave? It made me sign it's, his shirt, his reef beef shirt, and is very excited. He he may either ship you his shirt to have it signed, dude. Or I said I said Ben is supposed to come out and be my indentured servant for a little while soon. Because you can't say the other word anymore. No, should not. Uh, probably what, shouldn't bitch? even say endangered servant. Although, can't say bitch. They, yeah, my bitch. He's my helper bitch. guy. Helper endangered guy. Endangered servant, like in uh, like in um, Ready Player One. Yeah. Um. And then like he was very look. excited because he thought maybe he could get you to sign his shirt then. But that's creepy, though. It's not someone that's going to like boil a rabbit in your house for me, right? Mm, I saw that movie. It was creepy. Maybe. <clears throat> You, you you eat rabbit? You're from Texas. You don't Dude, give a I, shit. I ate rabbit when I was growing up. It's good. It's sort of dark just, meat and greasy, but it's good. Yeah. Rabbit if you find yourself awesome. in a position where you got that rabbit on the stove, make sure you cross your legs without your panties. Yeah. Right. It's was really it important. fatal attraction? Yes. Yes. 
old people know this movie. You youngsters, whatever. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm cooking rabbit, I just jerk it into the pot. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. At, at least we know where the bottom's at. <laughs> Is that fat? Y- yes. Eighty mils. <laughs> Johnny Pump House. <laughs> Susie, Susie Pump House. I like too. <laughs> we can't be misogynist. Oh, okay. My bad. All Chum right. The waters, boys. Literally. <laughs> uh i don't i'm not smart enough to ask you guys good questions okay. because you guys talk about shit that i don't know oh sweet but we all have our place yeah quit it oh someone got my door <laughs> leave your wieners alone i'm getting a package mm, there's so many innuendos here frag plates i'm using for settling baby corals oh okay the plates so but it's the plate and you can snap them like biscuits oh cool um so I'm going I'm going a slightly different direction than I have in the past. So you could almost snap them like that. What's it? The Eucharist in, in church when you take the body of Christ. It's very much like the Eucharist. <laughs> They're frag Eucharist. <laughs> this is this is where the baby corals are going to go. Oh, cool. And the idea this year. Well, it's not a new idea, but I, it's new for me to do it is instead of putting like egg crate down and then putting plugs down and hoping that the fucking baby corals settle on the plugs and not the egg crate, which they never fucking do because they're assholes. Uh, these these tiles are just going on the bottom. And they'll just settle some. And they got no choice. There's this or the sides of the fucking thing. Don't give so. babies a choice. No, don't give babies a choice. Man, beefers. I've had this cold for two and a half weeks. And hey, that's stupid me because... You know, I didn't go to a doctor, but it's like a respiratory infection. And oh my God, I'm tired of being sick. So tired of being sick. But hopefully I'll be well soon. But, and it's not COVID, believe it or not. I have a six year old son, kindergartner, and that's when they start getting sick so freaking often. And I just caught back to back colds from him. <laughs> 